Hello there, welcome again back to our series of topic. Uh, series of topics we have been discussing uh, different topics from the book entitled Computer Skills That Increase Your Productivity. And the latest topics were from reference, which is part six of the book. So in today's topic, we'll uh, give you a highlight of tips for practical use and the problem solving uh, from the reference uh, part, which is part six of the book. So let's start. The first one is to insert table of content in a document. This is very important. Inserting a table of content is very useful and uh, sometimes it's mandatory in, when you have actually a big document. Uh, that is actually useful for research papers and formal reports. If you are, are going to prepare research papers and formal report, you are expected to uh, insert uh, table of content. So that's when the need for inserting table of content comes in. So uh, I hope by now you are able to insert table of content from your document. So go if you want to just how, uh, know how to do it, you can go to the our previous topics uh, on the table of content. So uh, it is an easy thing, so you have to go to a reference and go to insert table of content, but before you insert in table of content, you have to actually uh, organize your document into uh, different uh, headings, like for example, heading one, heading two, and heading three. So that will be actually uh, using home and style groups. So you'll select heading one, heading two, and so on. So once you finish your uh, document into different uh, headings, you can go to uh, reference and insert your table of content easily. So that is actually a very important uh, step, especially this is very, uh, it is very required for research paper and formal reports. The other important is to search definitions, image, and web page from online sources. To use that to find definitions and image and information from the web, we can use search, which is found here, as you can see it. The other is research. Uh, research is also to find uh, quotes as well as site sources and image. You can use research and find that as well. The next one is crediting a source of information by citing the book, article, or other material. In that case, when you need some citations and of the book and article, you have to insert citation. So it is right found here, which is inserting citation. The next one is to insert a list of tables and a list of figure, uh, figures in your document. Uh, sometimes it's actually uh, very important to uh, find out next to the table of content, a list of tables and a list of figures. In that case, you have to insert caption, okay? Inserting caption and using for list of tables tables as a labels and for list of figures, figure as a label. Then once you finish, uh, you're inserting caption and it will automatically generate list of tables and list of figures for you in the document. So uh, you can do that as well. Uh, to refer specific place in your document, you can use uh, cross-referencing. So those are some of the practical tips and uh, utility that you can actually use in your daily life and for solving some problems. And remember, all these are more skills set to your progress. And once you are able to do all these things by yourself, uh, you feel confident about uh, your skill on uh, Microsoft Word. 
So uh, I would encourage you also uh, to go to uh, go those uh, individual videos and uh, get some of the insights from those and uh, you should be able to insert a table of uh, content. You should be uh, able to search uh, definition or wedge, uh, I mean web page, and you should be able to use research, insert citation, insert caption, and inserting cross-reference by now. So if you are not actually in a position to do all those things, please go back to individual topics and uh, follow the procedures and do your uh, parts after you uh, view the videos and go back and uh, implement those things. So those are some of the tips uh, you should actually using them by now. And I hope if you find this video useful, please consider sharing and to your sharing them, uh, sharing it to your uh, references as well as uh, I mean your links and colleagues. Thank you very much and bye bye.